Hello again. So the final short, tiny passage uh, before uh, Mark's theme truly begins is uh, found in Mark 1, 12 and 13. At once after the baptism, the Spirit sent Jesus out into the desert, and he was in the desert 40 days being tempted by Satan. He was with the wild animals, and angels attended him. Now, in the other Gospels, uh, we get an actual description of the content of the temptation, but not in Mark. Mark simply says, Satan tempted Jesus in the desert. We're left to understand that this is the inauguration of the Messiah's kingdom. Mark doesn't explicitly say that Jesus uh, resisted the temptation. Instead, we get that sense by the simple phrase, he was with the wild animals. Personally, I think that's a, a reference to a famous messianic passage in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter level, chapter 11. The wolf will live with the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the goat, the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and a little child will lead them. The cow will feed with the bear, their young will lie down together, the lion will eat straw like the ox. The infant will play near the hole of the cobra, and the young child put his hand into the viper's nest. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Jesus, after being tempted by Satan, saw the beginning of the day of the Lord, of God's great kingdom, and even angels came to attend to him. Now today, we look at God's kingdom. We are still in need of the kingdom of God today. So open your heart to God's kingdom. Be with the wild animals. Let God's true purpose have reign in your heart. Would you pray with me today? Lord, help us today as we look at our lives. Show us what needs to change. You change everything. So change what needs to be changed in our life. We ask this, Lord, in your name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you on Sunday on our live stream.